I love my PWC trailer, but I can't even see it behind the truck. So I really needed some guides so that I could see where the trailer is when I'm backing it down the ramp. It's a, a real chore, if not a hazard, backing this little trailer down behind my big truck. So I'm going to make a poor man's, a thrifty man's guide set, because they're about 60 bucks if you get them at the boat store. This kit cost me less than 10 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever you go, Ace Hardware, maybe even Walmart, and it's pretty simple to put together. All you need is a, a cordless dr or drill, some PVC, a couple of elbows, and then four, four bolts and nuts. And I bought all of this at Walmart, I'm sorry, I bought all of this at Lowe's, and the total was $9.95. Now, I did use some PVC glue that I had at home, and you might even have some of the PVC already at home and save even more dollars. I used one inch Schedule 40 PVC. I recommend don't use the Schedule 80 because it's a thinner wall. So look for the thick wall, and you can use anything from one inch to three inch, however big you want to make it. The one inch is a little bit easier to, uh, to deal with, and it's it's fairly rigid for my uprights. Those will shake a little bit going down the highway, but shouldn't be too bad. Inch and a half would be even even stiffer. And the only reason I used four elbows was so that I could put a cap on the top just so it's not a sharp edge. And later on, I might mount some trailer lights or something to that. Cut a small piece for my trailer. Happens to fit here pretty well. You may have to clamp it here or even onto your fenders. But in this particular setup, it fits there pretty well. Cut a small piece, it happens to be about six inches. Drilled two holes. Drilled matching holes up on the bottom side of this angle iron. And then I'm gonna run two bolts through it. Now you gotta use at least galvanized. These happen to be stainless steel. Um, but if you don't use the, the zinc plated, it's just gonna rust right through. So use at least galvanized, if not stainless. The galvanized is a little bit cheaper. So here's the close-up of what I did. Drilled the two holes from underneath because I couldn't get the drill through there. Bolted the short piece on, glue on an elbow, the upright, and then a cap or something at the top just so it's not a sharp edge that someone will hit, yourself, hit themselves on. And now I'll be able to see this through the rear view mirror when it's behind the truck. The length of your upright will depend on how tall your tailgate is or how jacked up your truck is. So you can jump in the back of the truck and have someone stay there with a tape measure to make sure you make them long enough. And the easy thing is, if you didn't make them long enough, it's easy enough to put a, put a uh, joiner on there and make them longer or make them shorter as you like. And there you have it. Good luck with your project.